Let's get that somewhere, Jay. Okay. Hmm. Tyler, are you still in a strop? Don't you think you overreacted just a little bit? I know what it's like to be accused of something you didn't do. When it was me, do you know what hurt more than anything else? It was that my colleagues, people I thought might be my friends, doubting me. <laughs> that was totally different. How? You can't throw Howard to the wolves just because you don't like him. Well, I can if I think he's going to ruin the practice. He was about to become a partner. Wow. How very petty of you. Don't talk to me like that. But you can joke about Howard behind his back based on what? Gossip and innuendo? You disappoint me, Zara. I think you should go now. At the very least, he deserves our respect. It's his future on the line. I've spoken to Dr. Reed, who told me that her husband asked her to help him end his life. Did he ask you the same? He knew my feelings on the subject. Which are? I abhor suicide. And you told him that? Did you know Mr. Reed well? I was his doctor for about a month, but we didn't know each other socially. Yet you work with his wife? Yes. Do you think that could have been why he wanted you as his doctor? Well, he was a vulnerable patient, and his wife and son wanted him in a safe pair of hands. Could either of them have thought the fact that Dr. Reed works here might make you more sympathetic? No, I think my colleagues know my opinion of suicide. Why'd you say that? Well, a couple of years ago, a colleague tried to take his own life, and I made my feelings fairly clear. But Dr. Reed didn't work here a couple of years ago, so presumably neither her nor her husband knew you then. Sorry, am I a witness or a suspect? My apologies. He's in the nurse's room. Thank you. If I have any more questions... I'm I... sure you won't hesitate to ask them. Is now a good time to talk? Heston, who's that? Our very own Jane Tennyson. About Howard? Yes. I guess that was a lucky escape. What do you mean? Well. I'd almost decided to give him a chance. Thank goodness we didn't make him a partner. If that's what you think. Wait. Tell me you didn't sign. I did. Are you trying to ruin us? We need a new partner, and Howard is the best candidate. What if he killed a man? And what if he didn't? You're taking that chance. I won't be swayed by playground gossip. I'm sure you have your own perfectly sound reasons for not wanting him. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, hey, I hear the police are here. I bet the legendary love god Mr. Bellamy is liking the sight of those handcuffs. You imagine he loves getting chained up and things done to him. <laughs> or brown chicken, brown chicken, brown chicken, brown cow. Oh, grow up. This is Ten Bear, just popping out for lunch. I'll be back in an hour. Uh, Mr. Bellamy, may I have a word? Yes, what is it? The police are here. What do they want? It is to do with Dr. Reed's husband. They have asked that you remain in the building until they have spoken to you. Where are they now? 
speaking to Nurse Reed. Thank you, Mrs. Tembe. The last time I saw my father was the previous evening. He was in a low mood and talked about suicide being the only option he felt he had left. I knew of his plans to travel to Switzerland and that he was disappointed that this was no longer an option. I wished him good night and went to bed. I didn't hear anything unusual during the night. In the morning, I woke, showered and prepared for work as normal. I first became aware of what had happened when my mother, Emma Reed, stopped me in the hallway on my way to work. She told me my father had passed away during the night. I didn't go through to see the deceased in his room. Overcome by what had happened, I left the house. I then spent the rest of the morning walking around Leatherbridge to try and clear my head. Is this a correct account of what happened? Can you sign here, please? Expecting someone else? So, the partnership papers. Are you going to give them to me or what? You're still happy to sign them? Is there any reason I shouldn't? Not at all. It's just a lot of nasty rumours flying around. Are any of them true? No. Then give me the papers. Thank you. Not at all. And if it does turn out that you're a massive criminal, we'll just sue you for everything you've got. Oh, look. The police are here for you. Oh, Nurse Reed. Um, I have spoken to Reverend Clement about your situation. Excuse me? I've asked him to put your father's name on a, a prayer list at our church. What happened is such a tragedy, and our thoughts are with you all. My dad is... was an atheist. You had no right to do that. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I thought... You just keep your nose out, OK? How well did you know him? Hardly at all. But I knew Dr. Reed from before we worked at the mill. Yes. She told us about your relationship. Hmm. Trusted colleague. Your other relationship. Do you think it had any bearing on Mr. Reed's decision to take his life? Not at all. My involvement with Dr. Reed was in the past. Any relationship we've had since we've worked together at the mill, purely professional. She also told us that you went to the house on the day Mr. Reed died. You seem surprised. Did Emma tell you that? Yes. What were you doing there? What did she say? She just said you went to the house. Can you tell me why? Was it to help Mr. Reed end his life? No, it was not. So it was just a social call? He wanted to see me. Why? That's private. Under these circumstances, no, it's not. He wanted to give me his blessing for a relationship with Emma. Hard to believe, I know. You're right, it is. He knew he was going to die. He cared for her. He wanted to make sure that she was going to be looked after when he'd gone. That was very thoughtful of him. You said your relationship with Dr. Reed was over. Do you still have feelings for her? Yes. And do you know how she feels about you? Why don't you ask her? Oh, I already did. 
Why didn't you tell us before that you'd been to the house? I don't know. Worried you might look guilty? No. I wanted to protect Emma. I didn't want people to think badly of her. And you felt that was worth lying to the police for? Dr. Reed seems to have lots of men doing selfless things for her. She must be someone very special. Come on. Oh, Chris, please. Thank you for your help. Everything all right? Um, yeah, let me see your hand. Thank you. Oh, Chris, no. No! no. What did you say to her? They just asked me a few questions. What about her? You were sleeping with my mum. Why don't you take a seat? Let's talk about this properly. If you're ready. I'll never be ready. Please. I know this is hard for you. Don't you patronise me. You disgust me. My dad is dead. And it's your fault. I had nothing to do with what happened. You broke his heart! <laughs> That's why he wanted to die. You took away his dignity. And the woman he loved. I didn't know your mother was still married when I got involved with her. When I found out, she told me they had an arrangement. Oh, how convenient. Your father told me the same thing. How dare you say that to me? I'm just trying to tell you how things were. What, now that he's not here to defend himself? I'm telling you the truth. My dad would never allow his wife to be with another man. You tore my family apart. You broke my dad's heart. And now he's dead. You can live with that, can you? I want to meet the bishop. I thought you'd like it. Then you, you cannot introduce me. It would not be appropriate. Hey, mate, uh, you, can't put, you can't put that there. We do actually need a partner for the formal signature. Well, Dr. Granger's on his way. He could have done exactly the same. Are you really that selfish?